How to configure a 10 series frame with Visio. Start by opening Visio and create a new page by going into the file menu, go to page setup, and change the scale of the drawing in the drawing scale tab. Click the radio button predefined scale and select architectural from the first drop down menu. Then select one inch equals one foot. Apply that scale, then click OK. Additionally, you need to bring in the M-Core Visio shapes, starting with the 10 series vertical frames and appropriate accessories. Go to the file menu, go into shapes, and scroll down to open stencil. In the dialog box that opens, navigate to where the Visio stencils are located on your computer. Select the 10 series accessories, 10 series frames, and also the universal accessories. Then click on the open button to open these files. On the left hand side of the Visio workspace you will see those three files. Drag the mouse and hold it over the 10 series vertical frame. An info window will appear giving a brief description of what the shape is. There are desk and counter height frames, 10 series slope front frames, and two convenience items, which are horizontal and vertical dimension lines. Start by drag clicking on a frame shape and dropping it on the new page. Clicking off the frame shape, the shape is labeled on the bottom with the appropriate part number. This label can be moved to wherever it is needed. The default location is shown. Because these are smart shapes, Right-clicking on these shapes provides the ability to change the height of the shapes. In this case, click on Custom Properties, and under the Product Number drop-down, we have a number of choices to choose from. Here, a 31-inch deep, 70-inch tall, 19-inch wide frame, which is an XFR 317019, is chosen. Select OK that will automatically change the height of the frame. You can see that the part number changes to reflect the change as well. At this point in time, you can add accessories. Click on the 10 series accessories and that provides access to several accessories available to the 10 series. One is a pontoon base. If you choose to use that particular item, you can bring it into the drawing and attach it to the cabinet bottom. You can add a pull-out shelf, which is a rack-mounted item that can be located anywhere within the frame. Just let go of the shape when it is positioned correctly. Next, add an equipment shelf. and then an equipment drawer. Now in the case of an equipment drawer, they come in a variety of different sizes. To change the size associated with this equipment drawer, right click on it and go to Custom Properties. Under Product Number, change this drawer to a 7U High Drawer, which is an XDR 200719. Click on that drawer and then click OK. The height of the drawer and shape changes. The drawer and any of the other items that are variable height items are smart shapes. Chassis guides can be pulled over to the workspace, drag and drop them into the shape positioned in the desired location. Going back to the 10 series frames, if you want to bring in another frame adjacent to the one already started, you can do that. Bring in a new frame shape. And just join the frames. To change the height to be the same, go to Custom Properties and choose the correct product number, XFR 317019 from the drop down. Click OK, and now you have a frame with the same height. Once these two frames are joined, click on the left frame and both the frames will move together. To separate them, just click on the right frame and it will allow them to be separated. 
Additionally, there are a whole variety of universal accessories that are available. Click on the Universal Accessories tab, bring in items like a keyboard tray, closure panel, which incidentally is a smart shape as well, a fan panel, packaged blower, and all the other universal accessories that MCOR offers. Thank you for watching this MCOR Visio tutorial.